how to target a specific element on a specific WordPress page. My name is Slavi Merov, and in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do that. If you know how to use CSS, you can just skip to the end and add this snippet of code to your functions.php or a custom plugin that you have. So just to remind ourselves how to target an element with, a CS with CSS, if that element has an ID, that's, let's say some ID, we just need to use pound sign in front of it and then the rules. If that element has a specific CSS class, we just use dot in front of it and then the class name. And the last example is if we want to target an element that's within another element, then we just use the parent class prefixed by a dot and then a dot and the class those are called selectors, so we could be using some ID, space, and then some another ID to target an element that's within an, another element, but we're targeting using IDs. We're going to be using the, the classes to target specific WordPress elements. Fortunately, WordPress is full of hooks and filters, and this allows us to modify its behavior the way we want it. And one of the most useful classes in this case is the classes that WordPress adds to the body element. Normally it adds IDs and additional things. And with this code here that again, you need to put into a custom plugin or a func functions.php file for your current, hopefully child theme, it's going to take the current link of the page or post and it's going to clean it a little bit and then use it as a class to the body element. I've added this to my site and here's how it looks like. So the site is has blog and also this long article link. And if you view the source, so WordPress has added blog, might have been our code, we'll see. <laughs> Uh, and then this link, and then we, that code also adds the full link, but it's sanitized. It's with the full location in case you have multiple pages and sub pages. With, so it looks like this. Normally WordPress adds blog po or post ID dash something, and, but it's not very reliable to target that page using a, an ID because if you have staging sites, then those IDs will be different because at some point the content will get out of sync. So you have something on your staging site and something on your live site, like different pages, posts, and stuff like that. And those IDs will be definitely different. So you want to target with links, with page slugs. Yeah, it's, it's quite long, but that's okay. And yeah, you need to target any element. But this code is very useful when you're targeting pages because they're not supposed to be that long. So if I view the source, pressing Control U here and search for body, and we have contact, we have additional class that WordPress has added. Very nice. And let's see, let's go to WordPress migration. So services, WordPress migration. So in this code, we're going to have extra information that includes, again, the service, like WordPress migration, and then services that, uh, so a dash WordPress migration. That way we have the whole unique link and we could easily be targeting, let's say this, that services and element display none, for example. So this is how you target a specific element on a specific WordPress page. And if you like what you're saying, follow us for more. Or And also, if you want to get this code customized, let us know by going to orbcs.com slash free dash quote. And 
go from there and to get to this specific article you just need to go to urbisius.com slash 7195 and yep an amazing day take care bye